How many trucks have you tested in this iFoil competition? In this iFoil competition we had 10 trucks in different categories. And what did you test? Um, of course, we, I test the energy consumption of the trucks, uh, the productivity, the way they handle, and I have a list of soft facts that I always check, and it's separated in different categories like side, ergonomics, uh, handling, steering, uh, stepping off and on, etc. And what are your personal highlights of this year's competition? Um, this year's competition we see the first time the entry of lithium iron or lithium iron phosphate trucks uh, batteries and I think that's a trend. It will become more and more and maybe in 10 years we forget about the lead acid battery and think only in the new lithium way of driving trucks. And uh, how has iFoy developed in your eyes? I think it's becoming more and more professional from the organization, but also you see that many more um, entries come in for different categories. <laughs> Mr. Follett, what is an innovation actually? <laughs> okay, that is, a dis that is a difficult question. In fact, um, if you introduce something new into the market, um, then you have to you have to ensure that uh, this new idea is implemented so it can be used by market participants. If you just have an idea and you you prove that it is that a concept that it, uh, that an idea works, that's not an innovation. It has to have the potential to be economically successful in the market. So innovation and uh, grade of novelty that is one of our categories we uh, we have here in the assessment of for the efoi but not only this one uh, the innovation uh, where we predict the relevance to the market the relevance for the market uh, in the first category so how how big is the market uh, um, how big is a, uh, for this particular uh, technology, for this particular vehicle, the proportion of the overall market and what impact do we, um, do we, do we see for this particular, particular technology. Then on the second, how far, um, how far will the, the customer for this, uh, for this truck benefit from this uh, new technology, from this innovation or novel solution. And uh, that could be on the one side uh, the, the company who uses this innovation or directly the user itself, so the worker who is driving, who is working with the truck day by day. Um, so we have the market relevance, we have the, uh, we have the customer benefit, the grade of innovation or novelty and uh, last but not least uh, the way this new technology is implemented um, how it is brought in how it is implemented in a particular truck and uh, how it works in there whether it's a it's a it's a it's a quick test for a new innovation to bring it to the market or where whether it is well developed and it has to be compared to the uh, to the technical uh, grade of detail a company stands for. Mm -hmm. So there are quite a lot of entries uh, in this uh, year's iFoy. What are your personal highlights? Ah, my personal highlights. Okay, um, for sure the the, B, the BYD uh, shows um, shows a very interesting um, battery. Um, battery type for counterbalance trucks and um, with um, with impressive um, uh, values for uh, from the testing so I'm very impressed by this one um, and uh, we we saw also um, in the solutions for example that uh, with a Wiesel from SSE uh, Schaefer uh, we have a new discussion here so how far are uh, conventional trucks like uh, like we know them for decades now are uh, challenged by this new technology to bring the transport down to small carriers which are cheaper can be uh, are operating man free 
So it's an interesting discussion. It, it, it fits quite good here in the discussion on the e4. Yeah.